things you're looking for in a relationship. Two things. Hmm. It could be trust. It could be um, on, um, well, trust and honesty is the same thing. Loyalty. Two specific things for your relationship. Well, first of all, I want my relationship to be as stress-free as possible. That's your word, stress-free. Yeah, stress-free as possible. And, and trust, you know. I want it to be built on faith and trust in each other in God. Yes. The brain. Um, a lot, a lot, at this stage, a lot of people go on Instagram and say, I'm a sexy sexual. How can you be a sexy sexual and you're not intellectual yourself? Are you, are you okay? How can you, how can you be a dirty person and want a clean person? Does it make sense? I mean, how would I say this? What's, 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 what's the perfect example I can use? Aha. How can you be... What's the word? No, it's not here. What's, I'm finding a way to describe this. Uh, how can you expect in someone what you don't have in yourself? Because naturally, the things that you want in a person are traits that you actually have. Because I don't think... If, if you've got OCD... You're not going to go and marry someone who's not... Because you know that in the pictures, they'll not put it there. So like, you've got issues because he didn't put this there. Like, so you're going to look for that particular thing. This, even though I know that opposites attract, but everyone has that one or two things that they want this person to have. Like he has to be clean. He has to be on point. That's a must. For me, you have, see, you have got to be smart and intellectual. Not even just book-wise, like everything... I want you to be able to be open to learn. Be a sponge. Because the world is so much full of um, knowledge to pick up on that you, you don't want to learn anything new. You don't like reading. At least read your phone. You don't read. All you do is text and not read something. Watch something and absorb something. Learn something. I, I believe I'm a sappy sexual. Whatever you say to me in the, in the first 10 minutes of the conversation determines if I'll date you or not. It's not how you look, trust me. Yeah, I, you look nice, so I'll walk to you. After, after I've walked to you and I get next to you, the looks don't count anymore. What you say in the first 10 minutes, I mean, like, example, there's this girl, and <laughs> she said, I'm like, I'm a sap. She's like, oh, she's one, two. I'm like, really? She's like, yeah. I'm like, oh, that's so nice. I mean, so what do you think about the whole idea of the government having an effect on art and literature in the next 10 years to come with the fact that they're not really supporting... Um, artists and not exactly musical artists but you know other arts in terms of financial ways and mostly with ones to do with the church and she was like I'm like I mean just share your opinion but one thing I know about smart people is that it doesn't matter what you talk about they always have an opinion to share even if it's not maybe at least they have something why should I have nothing I'm like oh, you, you're nice but yeah you just lost it. I mean, um, two things. Um, I'm, I'm going to say trust and protection, because a man is there to protect and to guide and to direct you. Um, trust. If you trust me and you're not too jealous, I think that's okay. Not too jealous. Not too jealous. Some people are very insecure and it could create lots of problems if you're going to this particular place why are you going there who are you seeing who is that guy you you get you get a text message but i who is that a whole lot of insecurities here and there so you're not you're not supposed to be too jealous not too insecure and not too childish you, be, you should be matured enough mm -hmm. um two things i'm looking for in a relationship trust and honesty. Okay, that's the same thing, Ray Cooper. No, not really. Okay, tell me what's different. You can trust someone who is not honest. So it's not really the same thing. Honesty is, you know, you're on the receiving end. You know, the person is being transparent with you. And then trust is, you know, where, you know, there is um, always giving the benefit of the doubt. Like, okay, fine. You know, things might have gone this way. I might have experienced this in the past. But, you know, let me give you the chance. Like, I'm not expecting you to disappoint me. That kind of thing. What makes a first date successful to you? Um, 
intimacy, not physical intimacy, just open up. Um, just be yourself. Just show me you. I don't want to have to come and have to figure out. I want you to show me to get me. I mean, I mean, I'm tired of having to hear people saying the first date they went, they went to like, would you call it, some over expensive restaurant, and she's impressed by the fact that he spent so much. I want ah. Do you know, when we got to the house, he opened the door for me. When we got to the house, he asked me what I wanted to drink. When we got to the house, he asked me if I wanted to sit down. He asked me if I'm comfortable. When we went to the house, at every point in time, he kept asking if I'm okay, if I wanted anything. See, guys do not believe that girls still pay attention to these little things. Girls still do. He constantly asks I'm okay, even though he knows I'm okay. It might seem like he's overprotective now, but not. He actually is wondering if you're okay at that point and there's anything you need. To get I me mean, for me, I feel like the little little things, you know, spice it. What would make that first date successful? Um, a guaranteed second date. Yeah, a guaranteed second date would make the first one successful. Well, it, um, our first date we didn't take long because I don't stay out much. I like the fact that I like his, his personality, the way he talks because it should be all about intelligence. If you have that intelligence or intellectual, I, I begin to connect with you and we're able to talk about a few petty, petty topics from everywhere. So we connected that way. We had fun, we talked, we rolled around and it was, it was okay. Oh, we just have to have cool vibes, you know, cool vibes. Everybody should just, we should be able to vibes and be ourselves because I'm not going to try to impress you or something like that. I'm just going to be myself. If you're impressed with me, then that's a plus for you because then you've gotten a very nice boy. But if you're not impressed, I'm sorry for you. That's your problem. So you just, it's all about what you bring to the table, right? I mean, I, will, I also have to be, you know, impressed. So I don't know how you feel about yourself, but this is how I feel about myself. I mean, whole price, a whole package. So if you want this package and you like this package, you come get this package, basically.